morning good morning it is rainy saturday look at that there is not much to recommend a rainy january saturday is there put yourselves in the cupboard if you can hear music in the background ashley is watching a youtube video on how to mend a shower i believe he's trying to mend the shower in our bedroom thought i would do we're going to have a bit of a homey weekend it's the saturday after we got back from our cruise on the wednesday and um, we're just going to be doing things around the house i want to get organized i definitely want to go through the freezers and the food cupboards and make sure i've got all my staples i feel very disorganized food wise um, we filled the freezers after Christmas <laughs> with all the leftovers and we've got no idea what's in there so I want to pull everything out see what I've got because I'd like to be eating out the freezer for the rest of this month as much as we can I've got sorry I'm clicking up um, well, you know the, these things clicking one of those let me put it away so I stop clicking it it's about five past nine. We had quite a lazy morning, got out of bed, had a shower and washed my hair. I'm just waiting for it to dry off. I tend to like my hair to dry to about 80%. What? Well, I'll turn it back on. It's a different video. Just press back one page. It should come up. Um, yeah, I tend to let my hair dry to about 80% until um, before I dry it so I don't put too much heat on it. Um, so I'm just going to fill up the dishwasher with last night's dishes and um, have a general tidy around the kitchen and then go and deal with this. Right, it's 10 o'clock. I've dried my hair. I've put my makeup on. For anybody interested, I have used this eyeshadow palette, which is new from Colourpop. So pretty. Absolutely. Well, as soon as I saw this, I knew I had to buy it. I just love the combination of cool tone colours in that. And I've done a bit of a purple look today. As I've said before, I love putting makeup on. It's my little bit of me time in the morning. And all the way through lockdown, for anyone who's been with me since the lockdown vlogs, I put makeup on almost every single day, full face of makeup. I feel more productive when I'm properly dressed, with proper shoes on and a face of makeup. Anybody else like that? I just feel much more together and ready to take on the world, if you like. Right, I am going to get a wash on, need to get some laundry on, and then I'm going to make a start in the kitchen. Coffee's made, candle is lit, and it's time to make a start on the kitchen. I am going to start with this cupboard. <laughs> which is, or usually is, my pantry cupboard. I haven't taken everything out, figured out what I've got. There's some empty stuff for ages. Um, needs a whole good sort out and perhaps a shopping list making to see what I'm short of, what I've got, and just generally a good old sort out. Once I've done that cupboard, I'm gonna move on to the freezer and the other food, I've got a couple of other food cupboards with sort of tins and bits and pieces on. And from that, I intend to make a menu, a shopping list for anything I'm short of, and a menu plan for the week ahead. Oh, go me, it's so organised. Um, luckily, I haven't had to be that organised for the week we've just had because we got back from our cruise on Wednesday and waiting for us at the door was a Hello Fresh box. Hello Fresh is just brilliant for those sorts of times that you come back from being away, you haven't really had time to do a menu plan and a shopping list or a shopping order before you go away. And so it's just sitting there, ready for you to eat, all portioned, no waste, just wonderful. I love it. You don't have to think about what you're going to get. You don't have to go to the supermarkets. So on Wednesday night, we had the pork meatballs with creamy chives sauce. They were delicious. Um, Thursday night we had this one, which is a black bean and sweet potato um, harissa stew. This has five of your five a day in it. So it was a perfect sort of a healthy antidote to all the um, cruise days and um, overindulgence while we were cruising. And then today I'm going to make this one for lunch which is the homemade crispy tortilla chips with chorizo, queso and refried bean dip. Thought that sounded really nice. I've said it before, but HelloFresh is so good in terms of dipping in and out. So I'll have a few weeks now, probably without HelloFresh, I'll skip a couple of weeks and then go back to it again when 
I feel the inspiration is running dry in terms of what to have for dinner and I want a nice quick easy option. It always feels like a treat as well scrolling through the website and choosing what you're going to eat or almost as good as going out to a restaurant. Um, so yeah also fun fact 66% of um, HelloFresh recipes now do not require you to turn on the oven which is pretty good in these days of um, such expensive gas and electricity isn't it? Now if you haven't yet tried HelloFresh and you'd like to give it a go I have a great offer for you today which is 60% off your first box and then 25% off for the next two months plus free gifts if you click through using my link I'll put, I'll put the banner across here but I'll also put it down in the description box Use my link and my discount code and you can try HelloFresh with that great offer. Start, right, I'm going to start by pulling everything out. I think that's the only way forward. Right, that went quite well. It didn't take too long either. This is what it now looks like. Isn't that better? Much more organised. There was only two things to put on the shopping list. Other things I noticed were for a family that likes couscous not very much at all we have the world's supply of couscous to use up um only things i decided to get rid of were these glacé cherries which um left some rather unpleasant residue on the bottom so i'm going to get rid of those and an out of date open packet of ground almonds both of which thinking about it the birds will eat so i'm going to pop those out on the bird table for them to have that and um i guess finish my coffee, perhaps read a chapter of my book, and then move on to uh, the freezer. Another thing I've noticed, do you remember this Audi Reed diffuser that I got before Christmas? The sticks have gone mouldy. That has never happened to me with a Reed diffuser before. It's still half full. Smells of literally nothing. Um, very, very disappointing. Wouldn't recommend, won't buy another. And yet some of their reed diffusers are so good. The lime basil and mandarin one I love. So this is also headed to the bin, I'm afraid. Right, it's freezer time. This is what it looks like. I mean, I'm not going to make it look that much different to the, what it looks now. It's not terrible, but I just need to know what's in it. I literally have no clue what is in it. So I'm thinking I'm going to start by literally pulling everything out. Oh, not looking forward to this. Oh, my God. Please tell me it gets better shortly after this. And this isn't even all of it. Ugh. That was not enjoyable, but I feel very pleased that I've done it. Haven't actually finished it. Right, I have rearranged all these shelves and I've met, I haven't done the bottom two baskets yet. I've done all these. Um, need to do those bottom two, but rearranged all of those and I've made a list of what we've got do need to do the baskets but I'm thinking I'm going to keep a list I'm going to type it all out and then we can cross off as we use stuff up got more than enough just in the bit I've done haven't even started on the outside freezer we have another mini miniature not miniature but small chest freezer outside um which is also fairly full I think my plan is so as not to overwhelm myself with all the stuff is do this one, make the list, eat out of what we've got there, which is more than enough for the next couple of weeks, notwithstanding the fact I'm going away for two nights this week to my mother's. Um, yeah, do that and then fill this up from the outside freezer as we empty it out. And um, hopefully that will get rid of some stuff. It's, it's a plan in my head anyway. <laughs> um, right, I feel like I have earned the final episode of my current TV series I'm watching, which is, I think it's called A Teacher or The Teacher on Netflix with um, Sheridan Smith. Enjoyed it. It's um, four episodes and just got to watch the last one. So I think I'm going to sit down with a coffee, another coffee, watch that. And um, by then the laundry should be finished and I can um, hang right. It's one o'clock and I'm going to get some lunch going. I've hung my washing up. And um, I've watched that last episode of Teacher. That was really good. Highly recommend that one. Sorry, I'm just undoing my Hello Fresh bag. Ready to get the lunch on the go. Because, gosh, that's the biggest chilli I've ever seen, I think. Um, or longest one, anyway. 
Right, I'm hungry, time to make food. And lunch is ready. Nice little picky Saturday lunch. We've got some homemade tortilla. What are they called? What are those things called? Homemade ones? Tortilla chips. Yeah, tortilla chips. That was good. Um, Refried bean dip. This is a queso and chorizo dip. And that's just some extra chorizo because I have too much to put onto the top of there. Looking forward to this. That lunch was blimmin' delicious. Highly recommend if you do Hello Fresh. But really very nice indeed. Even Ashley said how nice it was. Anyway, it's now time to tackle a, tackle a small decluttering job that has been bugging me for a while. Let me show you. This ridiculous and enormous shelf is my nail polish collection. This is ridiculous because, oh, there's also some in here as well. Ridiculous because I don't wear nail polish. I wear nail polish on my toes. I haven't worn nail polish on my fingers for fingernails even for at least three years, I would say, because I don't have very nice nails. And if I do wear nail polish on my fingers, which obviously because once in a blue moon, are you just hovering there to ask me something? Yes. <laughs> it, it is only a tenth the size of your candle collection. <laughs> well, yes, every cloud. I'll just put it away again, actually. Um, therefore, I really don't need this many nail polishes, do I? I vary between gel polish and normal polish on my toes and if I do wear it on my fingers as I said it's going to be a very pale colour um because I haven't got particularly nice nails and I haven't got particularly nice hands so I need to reduce this by I would say at least half shut your face <laughs> apologies for my husband I need to reduce it by a lot because it's ridiculous. It's so heavy, it's even bending the shelf in my wardrobe that Ashley put up for me a couple of years ago. Don't tell him that. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm doing now. Right, that was actually not too hard. This is what I'm keeping, and this is what I'm getting rid of. Some of these I have had for 15 years, maybe. I put all these ones separately in this little box. Those are all gel polishes. I'm going to send those to the charity shop. A lot of them are not even used or used ones um, because gel polish can be quite expensive, can't it? The UV polish. So I thought I'd send that to the charity shop. And then this lot, pass on to family, friends, if anybody wants any of them. Um, there's some quite no I had two the same. Goodness knows where that came from how I got two the same but there we go quite pleased with that no more stuff decluttered it's about half past three and I still haven't done the freezer list I've written it out but I need to type it out and I was also I had plans in my head that I was going to um, tidy my packaging table out in the um, conservatory my eBay packaging table which is a bit of a mess I might still do that but I feel like I've run out of steam for the moment. Just tidied the kitchen, emptied the dishwasher, and we've just finally put the dining room table back to um, its normal state, which is six chairs, rather than the ten with the extra leaf out that we had for Christmas. We've finally just put that back, um, which looks better. So I'm glad that's done. But, um, yeah, I feel a little bit as though I've run out of steam now. So I've just listed a few bits on eBay. And yeah, I might sit and read my book for an hour with a cup of tea, I think. And then see if I fancy doing it. I've got Zoom with my mum. We're going to have Zoom at Gin and Tonics at um, six o'clock just for a chat. Um, yeah, so I might have an hour reading. And then see if I can get the last bits done that I wanted to get done. That's my plan. It stopped raining anyway. It's quite nice now. So I'm hoping we might get out for a walk tomorrow. So actually leave the house. That'd be nice. It's many hours later. Well, actually not that many. It's seven, half past six, I think. Just on FaceTime with my mum. But I wanted to show you something, which one of you guys taught me. Um, do you remember when I was messing about with the carpet before Christmas, trying to get the indentations from... 
What are you doing? <laughs> Lunatic. <laughs> Apologies, my husband is a nutter. I was messing about with the carpet trying to get the indentations out from the old table. Well, when we took the leaf out of the table today, same thing happened. And I was trying to uh, put ice cubes into the little indentations. But somebody in the comments told me, use a fork. And I've just done this one with a fork. And you can hardly see the indentation now. So that one I've done with a fork. Sorry about the shadows. This one I haven't done with a fork. Look at the difference. That's a game changer. Really impressed with that. Too. Good morning. It's Sunday. It's very cold. Very cold. And we, for some inexplicable reason, are going for, well, potentially for a walk along the seafront. But um, if it pours down with rain again, which is quite likely, we might just drive along the seafront. Mm -hmm. But hopefully we'll get a walk in because some fresh air would be good. But there's not much to recommend being outside on a day like this, let me tell you. Abundance of palm trees here that's very strange in winter. It doesn't feel right. It's absolutely freezing. There's hardly anybody out. It's about past nine. And there's hardly anybody out. There's everybody else. It's high tide. This is normally beach along here. But, and also. When we come down on a Sunday morning, there are always people swimming. But today, there are none by the looks of it. My oh. favourite thing I've seen all morning is this lovely cat sitting in the window. Look at him. <laughs> it's like a little stack. Driving home, look, it's pouring and dark again, so we timed our little walk perfectly. It was actually blue sky when we left Timworth. I don't know if it's still nice there. But... It's always sunny there. Always sunny in Timmer. Yeah. I don't think it Timber is. Timmer Tourist Board represents <laughs> Tiff. Uh, Are they paying you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. That's... No, it's, I think it's somewhere near five o'clock. Bear with, I'll just tell you, 17.08. I completely forgot that I was vlogging today. To be fair, really haven't done very much that was vlog worthy. It's been a very cosy, homey, pottering sort of day. Funny been very pleasant I have to say it's been sort of productive but in a gentle way with lots of breaks for reading and watching a bit of YouTube and all of that good stuff I'm just about to do a face mask oh, I like to do that on a Sunday I've washed my makeup brushes switch my makeup over to some new stuff to try this week and some old favorites and all of that just put my makeup sponges out ready to wash and you'll notice I haven't made my bed yet today. Quite often happens on a Sunday, never mind. Um, my first cruise video went live today and you all seem to have enjoyed that. So thank you for your lovely comments on that. They were really fun videos to make and to edit actually. Thought I'd finish with this month's glossy box which has arrived in the last couple of days. Isn't that a pretty box? I love the pastel colours. Talking of pastel colours, thinking of changing the wallpaper in my bedroom the um, you know the one the pink grey and rose gold and uh, we've just got the one wall in here that wall and then one wall in the dressing room as well so it would be actually informs me it would be quite easy to change it not a big effort at all so toying with the idea of that just to give the room a bit of a freshen up it's not that lot it must be maybe like five years since we decorated it originally but um, just fancy a little bit of a change, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, let's see. What is, oh, look, the inside's pretty and pastel as well. Isn't that lovely? Um, let's see what is in this month's glossy box. <laughs> the first thing is something that comes up quite often in these boxes. Um, Cetaphil Oily Skin Cleanser. Um, that one will go in the pass on box because it, I do not have, it's for combination to oily sensitive skin. I will do not have that. I have dry skin, so that wouldn't be for me, that one. We've got a little um, sample of L'Oreal Revitalift Filler and Hyaluronic Acid Anti Wrinkle Serum. A bit of a small size, isn't it? Bit, bit, bit mean glossy box, I would say, that one. 
Uh, is, is it an extra? Oh, perhaps it's an extra, in which case it's not quite so mean. Um, right. Um, we have got a Paradox Restorative Hair Mask there. Um, what does it say? Vegan keratin to repair damaged hair. Apply generously to wet or dry hair and leave in for as little as 30 minutes or overnight as an intensive mask. Okay, interesting. Might give that a go. I'm, I'm, I'm probably, I like the fact it's a pre-wash rather than a post-wash and keep in and then I've talked about that before. I hope I probably give that a go. Um, Oh, this is one of the 111 skin masks. I have one of those in the advent calendar as well, I think. I got, yes, I've got the advent calendar one over here ready to use. Um, this is a cryo depuffing eye mask. I like the 111 skin masks. I think they're really good. So that's good. Happy with that. And then we've got a Grace and Stella Fuzzes for Peaches Exfoliating Dermablading Tool Facial and Eyebrow Razor. I bet it's one of those. Let's try to get the sticker off the back to open it. Hold one moment, caller. Giving up with that, it's going to ruin my nails, what's left of them. Let's take the scissors to it. There we are, I'm going to stay. Do you think these brands don't think about people who aren't as dexterous with their fingers or, you know, people who struggle with their motor skills and stuff? Yes, it's a pair of those scary face razors, which I will definitely use. So that is a good one for me. Um, and then finally, we have this Wonder Kiss. You know what this is? Wonder 2 Smooth Lips in Under 2 Minutes Essential Lip Scrub okay hydrates and exfoliates any dry skin to reveal soft and supple lips i need this combination of sugar particles and shea butter this formula deeply moisturizes and smooth the lips instantly a must for the ultimate lip look that sounds good i will try this on camera and see how i get on with it that sounds really interesting um that's quite a good box actually quite happy with almost all of that apart from the cleanser that i won't use um yeah definitely a good start to the year glossy box um i should mention i guess that um glossy box send me um the glossy box every month as, as pr so um yeah right i think that ends today's video i think after this we're going to be back to pretty much weekly vlogs or a few days at a time type of thing so um that's the plan thanks for watching i'll see you again in the next one hope everybody's had a lovely weekend and yeah see you soon bye bye